So Upstart is really a, a marketplace that allows a, a backer, uh, an investor, to invest in a person in exchange for a small fraction of their personal income over 10 years. I'm Dave Gerard, CEO and co-founder of Upstart. The idea for Upstart started a, about a year and a half ago, and it really came from some conversations with uh, people who are very early in their careers, just leaving college and trying to decide what to do next. And what I saw was a lot of uh, kids who have something they really wanted to do, something they're very excited about, that tended to be unknown and risky and entrepreneurial, but instead they were opting for a safe plan, a plan B, which was typically to take a job at a large company. It's actually the reality uh, of the evolving economy because large businesses are not creating net new jobs in the economy. So whether they like it or not, more and more people are going to need to build their own careers, build their own jobs. I'm Paul and I'm a co-founder here at Upstart and I'm responsible for the product team. The initial problem that I saw was that a lot of young people have a hard time taking on financial risk because young people typically don't have very much money and oftentimes they have student debt. So Upstart is a way to provide capital to people so that they can invest in themselves and be as successful as possible in the long run. It struck me, uh, particularly in, uh, in my role at Google where we're hiring a lot of people in this age group Group, um, that if you could actually identify somebody's potential to earn money in the, in, in the larger economy, you can actually allow them to borrow money from their future selves and bring it to the present. Uh, so my name is Anna Mongate. Um, I'm one of the co-founders at Upstart and I focus mainly on operations. When we started, we were literally the four of us in a conference room inside Google Ventures, whiteboarding the stuff on the board, trying to figure out, like, is there really a way to do this? How do you actually know what somebody is making? And is there a legal structure for this? And how will we track this? And how do all the pieces fit together? So there was a lot of kind of brainstorming from scratch. From there, we decided that we wanted to do a pilot class. And so over the summer, what we did was we found a small group of participants of upstarts and backers, seven upstarts and 13 backers, and we had them do a small and highly managed investment round. It's like Kickstarter in some sense. Uh, other than uh, the return really is economic. The return is that you will receive in return for contributing a hundred or a thousand or two thousand dollars uh, to somebody a very defined and small fraction of their income over ten years. So what we're really creating um, is, is a network more than a bank. It's a network where your backers can help you uh, in your career and uh, they can benefit from doing so. My name is Trina Spear. Um, I am the co-founder and chief operating officer of Figs Scrubs. When I first got on onto Upstart, I had been thinking this is a new, innovative way of accessing capital, and it's exceeded my expectations. <laughs> Why not have people on your side? Why not get support? Okay, you have you have expertise in e-commerce, and, and how can you help me there? Or you have expertise in marketing, and here are some ideas to um, target your demographic better. I really believe that Upstart is a movement. We're building a business that, at its core, is about serving others. It's about helping others succeed, um, both in terms of you know, access to capital on fair terms, as well as sort of passing down from one generation to the next, the knowledge and the expertise that's going to increase the success rate of people who want to do compelling things with their careers. You know, in the beginning, I think the most important thing is bringing the best and the brightest to our platform on both sides and making it grow. I think because we're a team that came from Google, we also think about doing it on enormous scale. A bunch of us were involved in Gmail, for example. So we aren't really interested in making this a fellowship for a few hundred upstarts. We view this as a platform that should affect and can affect positively the lives of hundreds of thousands, you know, if not millions of people. I think we all kind of have this flag of a million businesses started as a result of Upstart in a variety of, of areas. We want people, even if they haven't gone to college, uh, to be able to use Upstart, we want people to use Upstart to pay for college, to pay for graduate school, to pay for education after school. So it's about expanding Upstart to all kinds of individuals and expanding access to capital to everyone. And we think this is exactly what the U.S. economy needs. Creation of, of, of businesses, creation of jobs, ability to take on more risk rather than less. And these are all sort of fundamental to Upstart.